Hey, it's Anfa, and today I want to talk about things completely unrelated to music production and sound design. Actually, they are technically related to sound synthesis, namely speech synthesis, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. I have seen today a video from Google I.O. conference, and in that video, Google demonstrates an updated Google Assistant that can call someone in your name and point you to a haircut, which is like, when you just look at it, it's, oh cool, fine, not a big deal. But then I started thinking about what does it entail and what we already know about Google and you know collecting user data and a few things started falling into places and I didn't like what I saw when that happened so I wanted to talk about this and hopefully rise a healthy discussion about the concerns that this might bring because I think that this technology is is very dangerous and can bring a lot of heart to the world when it's used in malicious purposes. So, as we see in the video, I like um, the Google Assistant, which is a deep neural network powered system that can synthesize and recognize speech. It dials a number, probably of a of a local local place, and to schedule an appointment. And it it says it's calling in the name of to appoint somebody. Like I don't know, for example, when it's appointing a meeting for you, it says for a woman, blah blah blah, something. And it says like we're all like we're we're thinking about this as as persons. Like it's hard to not think about about something like that, such an AI system as a person, because it has a personality, uh, it will respond in a certain way that you can recognize it. Uh, like, it has some patterns of, of how it works, like every person does. Well, that's creepy anyway. So, the Google Assistant calls up and, and negotiates uh, day and hour of the meeting based on certain criteria, it, it responds to questions, it, it gracefully handles some very, I would say, hard to understand thoughts that the other human, hopefully human part, said, and that I, I wasn't following what, what's going on, like what that person might mean by saying something, uh, and the Google Assistant seems to to understand that and respond in a way that finally gets him where he wants to schedule an appointment. And I was thinking, okay, um, what about like the every time it called, it uses a different voice. And what if Google records your calls because it can? Uh, and it's going to train the neural network on your voice. Sorry. Okay, continuing. So, Google has a lot of data about us. It's a single company that owns YouTube, Google searches, Gmail. So, if, if, if somebody has all their data stored on Google servers, well, what stops them from, you know, training their neural network on your YouTube uploaded videos where you talk, uh, training it on your emails to learn how do you write, how you, like, structure sentences and, and you know, express your thoughts. Uh, what does stop it from recording your phone calls and training itself on that? And then synthesizing your voice and impersonating you in front of other people, like, 
I can I can imagine in I don't know three five years maybe Google <laughs> uh, in introducing a an enhanced um, like voicemail service where you don't have to pick up the call but it's gonna be picked up anyway by a Google Assistant impersonating you and speaking in your name with your voice in your style of arranging sentences and words and some people might not even realize that you didn't answer the call and then it's gonna show you a notification X and Y Z called I told them to get the f out or I said fine call me later because I'm really busy right now because uh, Google knows where you are so it knows you're at work for example because you told Google Maps where your work is and it sees that it's an, it's the hour that you're working in or it sees that you're after work so you're probably at home or maybe it sees that you were in a cinema or in a shopping center or whatever and a Google Assistant can say sorry I can't answer the phone because I'm in a shopping center right now can't it and that's just the, that's just what the what Google can do like what Google could do like putting apart how much of that video is actually you know how many calls they would have to they had to record to to have these two calls that they showcased um, actually to happen but you know if 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 they have this technology it's gonna improve and, and in a decade you know 2028 it might be good enough that I don't know it might I don't know maybe it's gonna pass the Turing test maybe maybe it's gonna be so good that we will not be able to tell the difference on a short call maybe you know with with technology like WaveNet synthesizing human speech or other sounds sample by sample that creates extremely extremely detailed and believable results not only of human speech but also of music well that's, that wouldn't be of use for that particular technology oh I took a wrong turn I know that WaveNet is very very slow right now and it needs you know lots of training and to generate generating the wave the, the sound is actually takes a long time uh, and but well you know these are like this this technology is gonna improve it, it already was able to synthesize human speech that I like it didn't immediately strike me as fake that's scary because if I picked up such a call I wouldn't know if I'm talking to a person or a computer. I don't know if the people that they tested this on, that they recorded and showcased, knew that they are talking to to an AI system or where they are prepared to, to talk to a computer or even knowing that it's part of an experiment. Maybe it's all, it was all rigged and pre-prepared and it was not a big deal and like it's gonna take 30 years for that to improve but it's, to a level that it's gonna actually work but you know they showcase this for a reason and they want to roll this out so it's not like it's 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 an entire century away from us I'm afraid it's not and you know now it can just schedule appointments but who knows what's, what we'll be able to do in a decade or two and you know with with the huge corporations knowing as much as they do about us well that's freaking scary <laughs> there are people calling from f different countries f calling different people and claiming they are tech support of a certain company to basically get access to their computers and get sensitive data or just hijack their their files encrypt them and then you know they're gonna call you again and say hey we have crypto data if you want them back pay us four hundred thousand dollars to you know, there are people doing this imagine if this technology is accessible to these people who don't give a shit about anything they just want to make money 
don't they don't care they call elderly people and and they just fish them they want to take their money what's going to stop them from you know running a botnet of hijacked computers to create such a network and then call people from the neural network they would they wouldn't have to hire real people then they could they could call much more people and well they could they could sound like genuine you know workers of the industry I don't know right now you can usually tell that these people are from maybe foreign countries but what's gonna be like when that happens <sighs> well yeah so these are some thoughts uh, I'm not sure I like this I mean the technology is for sure impressive but you know with it kind of scares me to think about what can happen with that and how it could be misused and what do you think about this am I paranoid is this ridiculous to be afraid of such things happening with this technology or maybe you think I'm taking it too light and this is well more serious well I've heard that people have done experiments with talking about random stuff they never actually used or bought close to their Android phones for half an hour and an hour and then they started seeing advertisement all over the internet Google Ads namely about that thing and is does that mean that Google Android phones are listening on us all the time to target ads they might be are they going to learn our voices this way they might are they gonna <laughs> impersonate us to get money call our friends and say hey we're in trouble please send me XYZ dollars for this account sorry it's not my usual account because it's blocked right now because of XYZ uh, like who's gonna stop that <laughs> and you know 2018 started with with meltdown and spectra bugs discovered in basically all the CPUs we are using right now how does that <laughs> join with this you know anything even if Google doesn't do that maybe someone's gonna break into their servers and just do this or just break into our phones and record us all the time and then process this learn our voice and call our friends and say we're in trouble call our family say we're in a hospital we had an accident we don't know if insurance gonna kick in fast enough so <laughs> what's the problem with you know if AI can manufacture a human voice can forge a human voice What's the problem of forging a document, a, a, a picture you would took with your phone of a document where you have something like uh, please pay XYZ for your hospitalization or you're gonna be expunged, I don't know. What's the problem with that? Well, <laughs> it's just a matter of time and just, you know, only CPU is the limit. <sighs> That's scary. Well, anyway. I hope this was um, worth your time. I am hope to be going back with, with some more um, music videos about making sounds and music and using open source software for that. In the meantime, thanks everyone who's supporting this channel thanks to all the 2000 plus subscribers uh, thanks to all the patreon supporters at patreon.com who uh, who drop money my way so I can dedicate more time on spending on videos well this is a quick video not much done to it 
but usually I, it, it takes much more time to, to do my videos, educational videos, so this is just a ramble. Okay, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!